All right, I'd like to show you a couple of things that you can do with matrices, just some simple manipulations. Um, so to do that, I'm going to need a couple of matrices, right? So let's start with um, matrix A. I got two of them, two matrices. That matrix A is uh, one, two. Row one is one, two. Row two is zero, one. And the second one, what should we call the second one? Uh, first one was A. I'll go ahead and call the second one B to be a rebel. Um, let's see. That one should be maybe one, two in row one and three, four in row two. Okay. So, uh, so those are our two matrices. And we'd like to find a bunch of stuff, you, you know. So we've got a lot of different things we can look at. Uh, maybe just simple addition. Let's add the two together. Um, we can look at matrix multiplication. What happens when we multiply the two matrices together? Um, and if we're going to multiply one way, it's a good idea to check what happens if we multiply the other way. Something strange might happen, right? Or, something, or maybe not. You know, could, could be completely normal. I could just want to do the same thing twice. Um, and then we'll look at an operation called the transpose, which is a lot of fun. Um, and then we'll look at just, a, you know, some large conglomeration of all of these things. Um, just to see what we can do with these matrices, right? Just figure out what's going on. Sounds like fun to me, right? So what, where should we start with this A? We're going to do our addition, right? So well, we've got plenty of room over here. So we'll just do A plus B, all right? And the first thing you do when you do something like this is you just go ahead and substitute these values in, right? A one, two, zero, one. Is that the first thing you do? We'll find out. A plus. Uh, one, two, three, four. Okay. And when we add things, it's um, very complicated. We just add the, we just add, when we add these two matrices, we just add the respective elements. So we have the one, one element here, row one, column one. We add the row one, column one of the second thing. That's one plus one. And we got two. So the first entry in this matrix, this sum matrix sum is two. Uh, the second second entry um, is two plus two is four. So in row one, column two, we have a four. Then we come down here to row two, column one. We have a zero. Zero plus three is three. Two two one two two four one plus four is five. And that is the complicated world of um, matrix addition. Um, matrix multiplication, matrix multiplication is a little bit more complicated. So um, we've seen a little bit about a little bit of this sort of stuff before with um, with some of our vector stuff. Uh, we'll go ahead and look at how this works. It's um it's not too difficult. Uh, we just have to remember what you're doing and keep track of things. Um, like most things, right? Most mathematics, all of the tricky part is, is just making sure you keep track of things. And that's part of the reason why you should practice, you know, more, more um, problems than we actually give you. Because, you know, I'm not going to grade every problem, but, but you do need to do lots and lots and lots of these problems just so a lot of these things become second nature to you and, and you can actually see when something's going wrong. Um, so in this case, we, we want to do row one, column one. So we take row one of the first one and we multiply by column one of the second one. So we just do that sort of as a vector fashion. So we have one times one and two times three. Okay. So one times one is one. And two times three is six, so that's one plus six. And then um, we want to come over here. This is row one, column two. So row one verse times column two. So that's one times two is two, plus two times four is eight. So two plus eight is ten. 
Okay, so we have 2 plus 8, and I shouldn't have just added all in my head, I'm sorry. Uh, we'll go ahead and just put this guy over here too as we're going. I don't think that's going to do you any um, damage. Um, then we have 0, so we have 2, row 2, column 1, 2, 1. 2 is 0, 1, 1 is 1, 3, so that's 0 times 1 is 0. Plus 3 times 1, 1 times 3 is um, 3, so that's 3 down here. And then let's see what's our complicated here. 0 times 2, which is 0, plus 1 times 4, which is 4, which means we have a 4 down here. And that's how complicated the matrix um, multiplication is. Again, you just have to do it a few times, and it's all going to be um, it's all going to be reasonable. It's all going to seem very, very second nature to you. Just do uh, do a dozen or so problems just like this. You can find them all over the place. Um, you know, places like the library and other strange, um, ins inscrutable places. Places where men fear to tread, I think is what they call those. Um, let's see, so now we're going to go ahead and do the um, same sort of thing. One, two times one, zero. So one times one is one, two times zero is zero. Okay. So that's going to be a one up here. You can already see um, this, these two matrices are different. I just switched the order and the matrices are different. One, two times two, one, so that's 2 plus 2 is 4, 3, 4 times 1, 0, 3 times 1, 4 times 0, 3 plus 0, so that's 3, and then we have 3, 4, 3, 4 times 2, 1, so that's 6 plus 4, which is, what, 6 plus 4, which is 10. Um, Yes, 10. Okay, so completely different. Uh, this is a property that's called uh, uh, non-commutative. Okay, N non commutative um, things are very important. They'll, you'll, they'll show up a lot later on. So um, it's a good idea to have, have this idea that, no, you know, some ways that you can multiply things, you can't switch the order. Okay, so, th so that's just going to be very, very important later on. Um, in quantum mechanics, I guess if you do electrical engineering and circuit stuff, uh, it's going to be very, very important. So, um, so keep that in mind. Um, now, look, let's look really quickly at this transpose operation. The um, transpose operation isn't that amazing. It's something fairly simple. Um, so if we take a transpose, what we do is we um, basically switch along these diagonals. Right um, here, we have things on this diagonal. There's nothing. There's no, nothing to switch along. So the one and one stay the same, and the and we switch the zero and two. So we have two zero. So that's that's the transpose. Um, you'll be using lots of transposes, usually in much more complicated operations. But um, you know, it's something you do. Transposes. There's something you do. Okay. Just keep that in mind. Eh, keep everything in mind. I mean, that's what this whole thing is about. Um, you know, we have just this long list of different things that we have to do. Uh, I mean, it's amazing how much math you end up having to use from time to time. So let's look at this complicated one, okay? A times B plus 2 times B transpose times B. Um, what is that equal to? Well, that's equal to... A plus 2B transpose times B, and I just saved us um, one matrix multiplication by using these, uh, by using this um, distributive property, right? So remember the properties of these things because uh, it can save you some time. And, you know, with these 2 by 2 matrices, maybe this isn't so important. But if you have like a couple of 4x4 four four matrices, it's going to start getting important, right? So keep stuff like that in mind. So let's see. That means we put the 1, 2, 0, 1 here. We have plus 2 times 1, 2, 3, 4 
transpose um, times B, which is one, two, three, four. Okay. So we do most of these things. We do the operations here just like what we do in um, regular algebra. Uh, the scalar multiplication comes first, right? So we have this one, two, zero, one plus the two just gets multiplied by all of these things. Um, two, four, six, eight transpose. I don't really know where the transpose sh shows up. I just know that before you do any other matrix, matrix stuff, you have to use it. Um, I, it does. It won't matter switching these orders, but I'm, I'm not really sure where that particular um, order of operations goes for the transpose. Like I said, it doesn't matter here. Um, so now let's take that transpose because we need to take that transpose before we add this matrix to that matrix. So uh, we're looking at the diagonals again. Two, nothing, um, no matches on the diagonal. Uh, six and four do have them. So four comes down here and six goes up there. And eight has no matches, so it's like that. Have one, two, three, four. Uh, now we do our addition. Addition is easy, right? We just add one and one and two to make three, we add two and six to make eight, we add zero and four to make four, we add one and eight to make nine. Then we multiply it by B, which is one, two, three, four. And then we'll be done. And you'll be happy and I'll be happy and everybody will be happy. Won't that be happy? So three times eight or three three eight times one three so that's three times one is three plus eight times three which is twenty four three times eight times two four that's three times two is six eight times four is thirty two we're cruising four times nine four plus twenty seven then um four times 2 is 8, and 9 times 4 is 36. So we got all this stuff, so 27, 38, 31, 44. Good stuff, don't you think? So that's, that's all you need to do, just, you know, throw a couple of numbers around and everything will be A-OK. -okay. So if you have any questions about those sorts of things, um, you know, you know how to get a hold of me, um, and, and yeah, I think uh, that's enough for right about now. Okay, bye now.